Hello and welcome to Wexham School Report. I'm Sana and we're reporting live from Slough. I'm Aswalton. Coming up breaking news, Lisa Nash has raised questions surrounding postpartum depression. And in other areas, Google has suggested that hiring a comedian and napping boosts staff morale. Yusuf provi provides us with our daily football update. More news following the death of Sir George Martin. And could penguins be the new man's best friend? But firstly, the tragic, heartbreaking story of Lisa Nash, the mother who suffered from postpartum depression and turned to drastic measures to protect her baby. Over to Sabu, who is joined by Dr. Smith to discuss the effects of postpartum. The case of Lisa Nash, a mother who suffered from psychosis depression, made her think her sister wanted to murder her newborn baby. Lisa was struck by a horrifying moment of clarity as she was convinced her child was in mortal danger. She thought her sister was going to kill her child and she didn't have long to stop her. We are now here with Dr. Smith to shine some more light on this case. Studies suggest mothers with postpartum psychological disorder are more likely to commit suicide during the first 12 months after giving birth than those with that mental disorder. It is becoming an ongoing issue in the hospitals. Postpartum has affected more than 10,000 women and causes hallucination and delusional thinking. What are the common symptoms of this illness? Like, how do you know if someone has this illness? Well, the patient acts really sad, he's really angry, for, for no reason, and then we know from that moment that yes, he is going through this type of illness. Is there an illness? Like, is there a cure for this illness, or is it something you have to live with for the rest of your life? It depends how severe the case is. For example, if it's really severe, then hospitalisation is really necessary. All right. How do you deal with some of your patients? Like, it must get hard, but like, what do you do? Really normal with them. We act the way we act with other patients. We don't over like be with them. Thank you Dr Smith for joining us and um, we are think if you know anyone that has any illnesses then you can check out our website and back to the studio. Thank you for that interesting report. We're now going over to Hannah and Marina for an interesting morale experiment to see if wearing wigs and dressing up as clowns will make teachers and students more enthusiastic for learning. Good morning, we are here at Wexham School. I, Marina Mardi, will be interviewing a few teachers on co in comedy in classrooms. And I, Hannah, will be interviewing students on their perspective of naps after class. I'm joined here by student Ikra to tell us about what she thinks about bedrooms and classrooms and teachers as clowns. So Ikra, what one would you prefer? I'd prefer beds in classrooms because I'd have a break before my le next lesson and it would make me really focused. Well, like, the lessons afterwards. By another student, Daniel, to learn his views on this matter. So, would you rather have more frequent days out, or would you rather have beds in the classrooms? Um, beds in the classroom because it doesn't ruin your attendance to the school. To the experiment, if the data is correct, we're going to try out the, out on a nearby classroom. Morning, Year Eleven. What the hell? Oh. Can somebody work that's written on the wall, please? Somebody <laughs> work. <laughs> Okay, you're 12. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, two. Hey, we've got two minutes before the lesson ends. Wow. Okay, guys, today we're talking about dreams. Mummy! Wow! 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 I'm here with Miss Edwards, the English teacher, and I'll be interviewing her. How do you think introducing comedian in lessons will affect students' learning? I actually think having it in the classrooms would negatively impact on the students' learning because I think it would unsettle them. However, I'm all for having a comedian in the staff room. How do you think introducing a comedian in the lesson will affect students' learning? I think it will, uh, I think they'll really enjoy it. Um, I think it will excite them, they'll see that I'm motivated and hopefully that will motivate them too. Do you agree that comedy boosts moral and A's and the creativity of students? Um, well it definitely boosted my morality, morality just now, um, uh, but definitely I think so. It definitely has an uh, impact on that student's mood and it obviously will, want them, it will make them work harder. Morning, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think beds is beneficial for schools? 
Um, yeah, I mean, like, it'd be great if I had a bit of a place to nap before my class. It's like, I'm not pumped for my next class. It is clear that students get distracted easily. However, it boosts the teacher's morality back to the studio. Um, over to you with this new football update. Starting off with today's f uh, daily football, we are going to talk about Chelsea's dreadful title defence this season. Chelsea are looking less confident after just losing to PSG. They lost 2-1 at home and away. The only way they can uh, uh, save their season is by beating Everton at um, home in the FA Cup. The top four looks very tight in the Premier League this season. Going, going um, in lower divisions, Oxford United seem to be getting promoted this season. Do you think Oxford United can get promoted this season? I don't think Oxford United will get promoted. I know they will get promoted. They're the best football team, not only in League Two, but in the whole of England at the moment. We play the best football, attacking team, young manager, best supporters in the country. We are getting promoted. Oxford United will get promoted this season back to the studio. And you can see that match this Saturday, the 12th of March at 5.30 on BBC Sport. Next, we will be hearing about the tragic death of uh, music legend Sir George Martin. Thank you. So, yesterday reports came through of sad death of Sir George Martin, the fifth Beatle, as they say. The former producer died at the age of 90 in his house in Wilshire. His death was announced by a former band member Ringo Starr on his Twitter account. Stars such as Paul McCartney, Jer Jeremy Conroy, Prime Minister David Cameron, Roger Moore and Mark Ronson have publicly said their condolences. On to another story of a well-known singer, Zayn Malik. The 23-year-old former One Direction singer appeared to be shooting gritty urban scenes as he strolled along the miles so we thought that we should go ask members of the public how they feel about Zayn Malik's new music video. Samira, do you think that Zayn Malik's new music video will be as suggestive as his last one? Yeah, I think it will be as suggestive because I think he's going to want to show everyone that he's moving on from One Direction and that he can do just as good as he was doing One Direction on his own. And finally, to a heartwarming story about how a penguin became a man's new best friend. It was five years ago, an elderly man saved a vulnerable penguin which was found in Rio de Janeiro, covered in oil, close to starvation and death. The man originally from Brazil, who is a retired bricklayer and a fisherman, spent an entire week cleaning the penguin's feather and nursing him back to health. The penguin, now called Din Dim, spent 11 months in the care of the fish, this fisherman before travelling 5,000 miles to his home in Rio Grande, the southernmost top of the South America. Nowadays, he arrives in June and leaves in February to, February to spend time with his old friend. Authorities have allowed their friendship to grow, given the unusual nature of the case. Perhaps it is true that penguins are a man's best friend. Back to the studio. That's all for today. I'm Sana. And I'm a Swarton. And this is Wexham's BBC School Report. And have a great evening.